at gmail.com and then tell Kevin what you, what you thought of what he just said. Uh, take a, that's like the guys, Kevin, who go on road trips, right? They go rent a RV, they go get a trailer and they put their bikes on the back of the trailer and then they go to Las Vegas. Hey, I see that a lot, like oh. dirt bikes. I, I, I see, I seen like a, I think it was a Sportster or something. Well, no, remember? Know. It was like a small bike remember, attached to a heart. Remember RV. when we went to Las Vegas two years ago? Huh. Uh, there was a group that we ran across them in Spokane. And then I saw them halfway to, I think, after Reno. And then I saw them uh, again on the road to Las Vegas, going through the freeway. You know, the, what they would do is they'd get to an area, right? Unload their bikes, ride it around that little area, load it back off, and then drive their vehicle for another 500 miles or 300 miles, do the same thing. That's, I hate to say it, that's not, that's not a road trip. That's not riding a motorcycle. That takes the spirit out of it. I'm sorry. I, you can get mad at me, and you can also <laughs> send me a message at motorcycle talk by Gary at gmail dot com. No, I I think that defeats the purpose. I think the whole point is getting on your bike and heading out. But uh, this year, I just want to go for two, three, freaking weeks, and not even make a plan where I'm going. I'm not, gonna not even going to make a destination. But what if uh, the road? Like, what if you end up on some crossroads and one one is pointing west and one is pointing east? Where are you going to go? The same way I do now. How often do I get lost in a car when I drive? I, I get don't know. I get, so, lo- I get lost quite quite a bit. So, uh, I mean, you know, um, my old age and Alzheimer's, you know, whatever. Uh, I, I just find if I get on my bike and head, I'm going to just head out. And then I'm going to explore, and the heck with anybody that's with me, because the last times I've gone anywhere, you know, I want to stop. I want to enjoy the culture. I want to stop and look at things. Uh Uh-uh. We're just going to go cruising as fast as we can. And we just go right past everything. So, yeah, we, we get to Reno. Okay, what do we do at Reno? Oh, there's slot machines. Okay, we put money in the slot machines. Then we take off and go to Las Vegas. Do we stop and look at anything? No. We're just heading out fast as we can to Las Vegas where we can go play the slots and exactly. watch a movie and then head home. Well, what? even if it takes 13, 14 days to do something like that, that ain't fun. I mean, you know, and if I wouldn't have stopped at the casino with you guys, how much more money I could have been gone for another two weeks now? If I decide to go my way and hit up people I know and say, hey, can I, you know, hit up and stay at your in your shed or in your garage or on your couch uh, to save money? I mean, I could stay gone for at least a month. And, Probably you know, more than that. I'm, I'm sure <laughs> mom would be sending me money all the time. Just say, hey, you can stay longer. Hey, just stay, stay gone. Exactly. But, but you know, there's things I want to see out there. You know, I just turned 66 January 8th. And there's a lot of things I want to do, you know, and I just, like I said, the people who live on the road, they, you know, they really got the idea of enjoying life to the fullest potential because they're experiencing things, me and you, and even you, Kevin, probably uh, will never experience in our life. I mean, how many people could you meet and make friends with that many people and just find new things that you didn't even know existed? You well, know, that's why you got to get out, get on your bike. Doesn't matter if it's raining. I, I took my bike out today. I took my bike out today and I just, I, I, I won't I tell you where he had it off to. I won't tell you where he went. So we'll leave that part. This, I like that. just missed the rain by like 10 minutes. As soon as I got home, it started to downpour and everything and well, it was, wasn't it raining when you got back so bad? It was, yeah, that, I mean, but, you could put a boat out there and you could actually roll it. That's how bad it was. My, so, my pants were like literally drenched. Even the rain pants that I had on were just. Ah. Well, hey, that happened that one time when we went on a road trip and you guys wouldn't pull over. My pants got wet. <laughs> yep, and you had to walk through. Like, then it wasn't raining. <laughs> you guys figured that one out. <laughs> but I, uh, I, well, I had a I had a Suzuki and. And I don't know if you remember this, but the seat was ripped like halfway through the seat. So I had to go through 
like miles and miles and miles of just sitting on that seat and every day I would sit on its on the seat and my ass or my butt would just get wet. Yeah. Well it was yeah. horrible. Yeah, and I bet you got blue balls from it too. <laughs> well yeah. But anyway, or red balls, one or the two. Something. Yeah. Well, it's better than trying to get up and have them attached to the seat. <laughs> That's happened. I don't know if it ever happened to any of you guys, but boy, that can get rather painful. Um, but, you know, I just, like, if I was young again, if I was like 20 years old or 25 years old, you know, Kevin, it'd be so fun to just ride like in the Midwest and like, go do the old Route 66, stop in towns. You know, when I start lo- uh, running low on coin, go get a job at some restaurant, r- washing dishes, get enough money, do that for about a week, you know, get enough money for fuel and food, you know, and then head out for another, you know, a week or two and just keep doing that for months. Months at a time, you know, that'd be so awesome. Yeah, that would be. I, I want, like I said, I want to. I would love to take my bike and go as as soon as I get the small repairs on my bike done. I don't know. Maybe that's my next goal. Well, you should do that, and you can. I had a friend. Uh, I had a friend named. I had a friend named Kathy Jensen. She told me before she. Passed passed away not too long ago. Rest in peace. She told me that I should go pursue go pursue my dreams, and and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Well, yeah, you know, I'll I'll kick in like uh, maybe. 35, 45 cents to get you going. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that'll get you down the street at least. Uh, yeah, right. That, that's about it. But, you know, seriously, I mean, you know, it'd be so fun just to meet people and, and just experience explore things and i miss that you know i never had that opportunity and i just think for those people living on the streets it's cool you know to go out and maybe pitch a tent up by a cemetery at night and and uh you know and get a little fire going there and have your beer there and you know open up your rations and and bake beans and just you know uh and and spare toilet paper. And, toilet and, paper. Yeah, yeah toilet so paper. You, you got to have toilet paper. Well, you might as well just get some MREs, just stockpile them up and just store them, just store them in your backpack somewhere. Well, hey, you know, I try to get do that with you guys. Worth. I try to do that on a couple road trips. Well, with you, you guys. wouldn't order any. No, it's a couple people. The other person wouldn't allow it. They said absolutely not. They weren't going to eat that stuff. But you realize how much farther we could have gone and how yeah. many days we could have gone i was spending at least like 20 60 dollars a day yeah because you would you wanted to go to like high quality restaurants denny's denny's is high quality well, i wouldn't say that's high quality but i'm not gonna say nothing bad about but them they're expensive <laughs> yeah i guess when it's three people there and you know you're looking at like 50 50 bucks 60 bucks for dinner i mean you know how many cans of beans i could have that you know i could have had pork and beans and i could have had like those little canned wieners and so you know tell us tell us what you think about that were we crazy to spend that much money per day on a road trip you tell us what we you tell us what you think yeah and and again it's um motorcycle Please talk do. by gary at gmail.com what, what what kind of foods would you bring on a road trip what what types of stuff would you bring on a road trip please beer yeah I, beer yeah be, beer you can't get uh beer you gotta have beer always uh, yeah i mean you can't go on a road trip for a beer but you know it'd be really awesome god you know I need to talk to your mom because, you know, I really want to go so bad for more than two, three weeks this time. It on just, a motorcycle trip? Yeah, because, you know, like every time, I, it's like, thir- well, we I think the shortest was like 13 days. I think the longest was 21 days well, or 22. But the time, you know, each day, it just went like the fastest I ever gone through in time. It was just so strange because all of a sudden here we were and then it's time, to, it's over with. Was well, maybe because you're spending too much time in like, you know, time not on the road. Well, we we spent what about eight hours a day on it, and on a motorcycle, that's pretty much it. Now you imagine back seriously in the 1870s, 1880s, huh. okay, with a wagon and horses or riding a horse. Could you ride a horse for eight hours with your legs spread over a horse? Uh, probably not. Yeah, well, they did. 
And, you know, and, and you have people complain, well, you know, on group rides, well, hey, I don't want to go for a ride that long. It's, it, it's, it's painful. I mean, it's strange. But, I mean, have, that's another thing. I want to know, have any of you guys gone for a couple months on the road and decided, hey, that's what I wanted to do and did it? If you did, contact us. I just would love to have you on our show exactly. and we can interview you and talk about what it was like for you living uh, on the road and uh, no house, no no apartments, just living in a tent. Or, or perhaps or, you had your house and you just, you know. No, I want to talk to somebody who, who really decided that they're going to sell all their belongings, their worldly goods, other than their motorcycle and their clothes on their back. And just they had they just took off. And, okay. and, and and they were gone and they did it to, to the urge was over with or if they're still doing it. I would I want to know about that. So call not call me, but uh, send me an email again at Motorcycle Talk by Gary at Gmail dot com. Yeah, because I would love to hear that hear about that, too, because that's one of my that's possibly one of my goals in the near future. You mean to live on the streets? No, not to live on the streets. To live on the road. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, but I want to talk about the guys that really roughed it. You know, they hung a tarp over their motorcycle, right? And staked the other side of the uh, tarp down. And they curled up to that bike like they, they curl up to an old lady, you know, and just snuggle yeah. next to that bike and sleep there during the night. Not Turned wor- on the bike and warmed it up just to get a little extra heat or something like that. Yeah. And, and not worried about those little crawly things crawling on you at night. Or those things that slither, you know. That's that's what that's what that's creepy call creepy crawlies. Yeah. Maybe that's why I wanted the tent. <laughs> yeah, that, that, more I think about it, I'm getting myself already. Uh, yeah. You know, like like snakes, you know, spiders, you uh, know. Oh yeah, I'm terrible scared. I'm scared of spiders, and snakes, floods and stuff. Oh yeah, Ooh. yeah. But just imagine too being out on the road. Spiders. You know, if you're single. You know, you could go into a, a town like uh, uh, Alexander and and meet a nice looking girl, you know, at the bar and say, hey, my name is Ted Bundy, <laughs> you know, and <laughs> would you want to go to the movies with me? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Kevin, do you know who Ted Bundy was? Uh Probably not. Okay, he, a serial killer it was. No. Yes, it yeah. Was, yeah. You don't want to be that. <laughs> no, no, you don't want to be that. That was a bad joke. A bad, a bad joke. joke gone wrong. Anyway, don't say that. <laughs> I just want to say again, you're listening to Motorcycle Talk on Night Dreams Radio Tim Network. Bundy. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Hey, you know this time is flying by faster than ever because you know why? Do you know why, Kevin? Seriously, why? because it's something I have in my passion. Again, I want to just say that Michael Is it Parks. Because you're having fun. Yeah, I'm having fun. But I'm just thinking back when I just got out. Of, well, just before I went in the military, my favorite show that came on was then came Bronson and uh, Michael Parks, and somehow just seeing him going from that town to town on that Harley, you know, and that song, you know, uh, that was made famous. Uh, it just, you know, it put something in me where I wanted that lifestyle so bad. And if I had it over again, I would have cut my penis off. And yeah, I would have cut my penis off and not went out with that one girl. And I could have done this. Hey, I, oh, sorry, go ahead. Keep going. I mean, I could have been, you You might not even be here right now. You just might have been a figment of somebody else's imagination. Hey, like the parallel universe. It could be, you know. You never know. Hey, uh, speaking of Every parallel. Every random thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, in parallel universe, maybe I am writing, you know, from town to town. and have, Yeah, writing your own story from your thoughts. <laughs> yeah, no responsibility. Just think about that. No responsibilities. You don't have to worry about anybody but yourself, keeping your motorcycle running, fuel and cans of beans and beer to get to the next town. You don't have to worry about eating the beans because you don't have anybody with you. So, I mean, you can eat all the beans you want. You have nothing to worry about. Is that what is that what you did did in the army too? Is you just eat a bunch of pork and beans? Oh, yeah. when I was in the army, at one point we were opening up uh, rations, K rations from from um, uh, the Korean War, uh, and, and uh, those pork and beans were green. Ew. 
but but you know, uh, and I remember a Tootsie Roll was so hard you could probably used it as a two by four. That's a, how hard it was. Then they gave you a little bit of toilet paper, right? That if you ate the pork and beans, it wasn't enough toilet.